Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer by training, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about reasons why you can't stop overeating. So, let's get started. <music> So I think we've all been there at one point or another where it's just so challenging to stop eating. And I want to talk about some of the most common reasons this may be happening for you and what you can do about it. So the first thing that causes people to overeat is they eat a trigger food. A trigger food is something that once you have a little bit, you just can't stop eating all of it. For some people, it might be movie theater popcorn. For me, it's salt and vinegar potato chips. For other people, it might be chocolate or a donut or a treat of some sort. Something that you can't just have a little and you end up having to eat the whole thing. So for those of you who have trigger foods, I highly encourage you. This, there's a lot of different ways to go about this, but for me, I don't keep my trigger foods in the house. I avoid them at all costs when I am highly focused on a fat loss goal. The next reason why you may be overeating is you're simply not busy enough. If you are just idly going throughout your day, you don't have a lot going on, you don't have goals, you're just kind of sitting there and you're bored and you're like, well, what else should I do? Get busy. Sometimes, like I hate to say this, sometimes I get so busy that I completely forget to eat, which is not a good thing. But all that being said, get busy. Give yourself something productive to do so you're not sitting there thinking about your stomach all day long. And if you're not that busy at work, take on more projects. If you're not that busy on the home, Start organizing something, clean something, help a friend, volunteer, do something productive and helpful and useful with your time as opposed to just sitting around and thinking about your stomach and what that looks like. It's hard for you to stop overeating is because your diet is too extreme. If you are going on some extreme cleanse or detox or something that is so drastic from and such a huge deviation for how you normally eat, you are most likely going to relapse and binge and gain it all back. This is why I do not recommend quick fix approaches. There are sustainable, methodical, healthy ways to lose body fat. My six week shred is a great way to do that and jumpstart it in a healthy way. However, if you find yourself in a place where your diet is way too extreme for you, don't do something that extreme. Try something a little bit more dialed in. If you want something customized to you, we can offer you a custom meal plan based off of your specific energy needs. Another reason you may be overeating is because you're waiting too long to eat. If you're not used to eating at timed intervals, or if you're just not used to putting any intentional thought to your meal timing, you're most likely going to go a very, very long duration without eating something. And then by the time you do eat, you will most likely overeat because you didn't give your body the opportunity to keep a stable blood sugar throughout the day. The next reason you may be overeating is you haven't cleaned out your cupboards. If your pantry and your home is just loaded with junk food, you're most likely going to eat it if it's there. So get rid of those things. As they say, it is better for it to go to waste, W-A-S-T-E, than to your waste, W-A-I-S-T. And the last reason that you may be overeating is because you have a poor relationship with food, meaning you look at food as a punishment as well as a reward. So when you're happy and things are going well, you'll reward yourself with food. But likewise, when you feel like you've not been good, you feel like you've been off track, you will punish yourself with extreme exclusions of food. And both of those things are extreme behaviors and neither of them are healthy. So I encourage you guys to really focus on 
rebuilding a healthy relationship with food. If you are not in a good place mentally and you have been chronically overeating for most of your life, I do encourage you to almost reset and relearn a healthy way to look at food, looking at food as fuel, and to actually not go on a diet right away. I would encourage you to actually learn how to eat healthy at a maintenance level, meaning you know your maintenance calories is your BMR plus your activity calories, and that may be 2,000 calories, but learn how to eat healthy first. Learn what feels good. Learn what, relearn your hunger signals before stepping into a caloric deficit if you have had a long history of these behaviors. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.